My name is Adam Hansen. I'm 28. I'm a husband and a father of three, and I'm proud to be a steel fabricator. I was always interested in welding. Back when I took high school shop classes, went and took a tour of Dunwoody, uh, eventually signed up and uh, went through their welding program. I got accepted really well into the job market. I got every job I ever applied for. I'm Brad Doerr, 26, a husband, and proud to be a steel fabricator. I like to modify things like my boat and my car at home and it makes sense that I turn my career into that where I can take stuff from scratch and then build it into something cool like a stadium or a bridge. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. After a couple years of thinking about my future, I just realized this is where I wanted to be. I'm Joel Bates, I'm 24 years old and I'm proud to be a steel fabricator. Went to a school that was definitely not for me, and I worked a couple dead-end jobs not knowing what I wanted to do. Sitting in a classroom all day was not for me, so I knew sitting at a desk the rest of my life wasn't gonna happen. Once I got here and I saw how big and open the shop is, and you're communicating and working with people all day long, this is what I wanted to do. I've been able to do more fabricating work and more welding work since I left school and your skills just continue to grow every time that you do it. It's practice, practice, practice. Reading blueprints, I looked at them and it looked like a bunch of gibberish and now when I see them I can actually see like 3D. I can see what it's going to become before I even build it. Having more technology while we're out working in the shop has helped tremendously. You can look up what job you're working on right away and have it there. So having an iPad right in front of you with the print on it, it makes a world of difference. One of the coolest things about being a steel fabricator is you get to see your accomplishments in front of you every day as you leave. You get to see what you built, what your coworkers built, what your team built. And one thing I really take a lot of pride in is that what we're doing, we're making buildings and structures that athletes are gonna play in, people going to work every day, may even be apartment buildings people live in, so these products that we make are used on a daily basis. Yeah, I take a lot of pride in it. When I go and sit in a seat at Target Field and I can look up and see the steel we fabricated. And when I take my family to the Twins game, I can show my wife and my children that, you know, Dad was working on this and I could tell when these pieces were in the shop. It makes you really feel like you've done something worthy. Like it makes you proud of who you are and what you've done for the company. Working here, it's a, it's a career. It's not a part-time job. It's not a dead-end job. It's always going to be here too. We're always going to need skilled workers. If you want to get out, you want to work with your hands, you want to be on your feet, I would go into this industry. I was lucky I found a career that I love and I was able to make a good income and be able to support myself. There's always buildings that are going to need to be built. There's always bridges that are going to need built and uh, we'll always be here to build them. <laughs>